From across Maryland, Virginia, and the district, this is Washington's 24-hour local news leader. News Channel 8's Live This Morning starts right now. Well, the internet radically changed the way people access information, so it's no surprise that it is also changing how we engage with the healthcare system. And now a new patient empowered movement called ePatients is gaining traction online. And Dr. Val Jones is here now to explain how everybody can get involved in this. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, I think we should explain what is an e-patient? Where did that come from and what does it mean? An e-patient is anyone who wants to engage in their healthcare decision-making process and they use the internet to help them achieve that. I got you. So now what is the benefit? You know, some people may say, well, I have a doctor. I can go visit my doctor and we talk about things or, you know, I can talk to my pharmacist about prescriptions. Right. What is, have you found that there's sort of a benefit to when people have an online resource that they can go to 24-7? Absolutely. Well, this doesn't replace your doctor, of course, sure. but you only see your doctor about an hour a year. What are you doing with the rest of those hours? <laughs> mm -hmm. You still have to manage your health, right? So a lot of these online tools allow you to track, let's say, your blood pressure or your glucose, get in groups with other people who want to lose weight, perhaps, and encourage you to do that. So this is a sort of participatory way to sort of help you achieve your goals. And this sounds like this can be, correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like it can be sort of a range from talking about maybe health concerns you have, talking about it with people talk about things like you're talking about exercising things like that right. um, you were also telling me there's uh, it's what pillbox is is another feature talk about some of these specific features that sort of go uh, even further to help out uh, these e patients first of all I think the best kept secret on the internet in terms of health information is medhelp.org and there are actually doctors available to answer patient questions for free Wow. and the interesting thing about this is that most of the major hospital systems like the Cleveland Clinic or Mayo Clinic or Harvard um, have their, their doctors volunteer their time as a goodwill measure to answer questions as part of a PR effort and so the patient wins and uh, not too many people realize that you can access doctors for free online right now so that's a site that I really approve of and then we can talk about Pillbox too. Sure, yeah, sure. Let's talk about it. Go ahead and explain that to everybody what exactly that is. So Pillbox is a really neat uh, new tool that's been created by the NIH mm -hmm. and a friend of mine, David Hale, is the project manager there. He's doing a terrific job. You can actually describe a, a pill that you find. Let's say you're trying to help your mom take her medicine and mm -hmm. there's a stray pill and you don't know, oh my gosh, what was this? Does she need to take it now? You could go to Pillbox and describe the shape. Is it round? Is it white? Right. Etc. And even if part of the letters are missing, it'll know that. So let's say the dog licked it right. or there's water <laughs> yeah, on that's it very or something. You know? Yeah, but I don't know. What, what did mean. the dog eat? <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> right. And, and you, maybe it said Zoloft and now it's just loft. Right. And you can type right. that in and it still knows. So it's it's kind of a neat tool. Very, very cool. The, the only other thing I think we should definitely mention is, you know, you can go online and type in basically anything and get, you know, a million results from a million different sites, some obviously more reputable than others. Where is this information coming? How are people sort of reassured that these are good tools? that they can access. Well, uh, perfect setup. I, I'm a medical blogger and uh -huh. I write at getbetterhealth.com and I have a list of trusted sites and they're excellent. there actually right now for ABC viewers to go take a look at some of the links to, to these trusted sites. Excellent, excellent. Lots yeah. of good stuff online. There's always something good out there and always uh, answers to lots of questions too. So no uh, exceptions in the medical world. Right. All right, Dr. Val Jones, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank we you. appreciate it's been a pleasure. it.